So yesterday, there was a, a shooter. Uh, and there was a shooter in uh, Denver. And at first, the police said, we can't confirm any of the affiliations. Uh, it just started as a, a verbal assault. Uh, and uh, it, it started at a, at a Patriot prayer rally. And this guy was a security guard, and he was a security guard for Channel 9. Well, uh, I don't know why there hasn't been any video released. Channel 9, the photographer was there. I don't know why we don't have any video. We do have pictures. Uh, but my guess is we don't have any video because it doesn't fit the narrative. It was at a Patriot rally uh, to pray and pray for Donald Trump, support Donald Trump. They have the shooter now in custody, and he has been charged with first-degree murder. That's good news. Now, who is he? Well, he was identified because he had a Space Invaders tattoo on his wrist, uh, which is apparently associated with Rosa and Tifa Wine, W-I-E-N. Um, and according to Big League Politics, he has uh, uh, expressed support for BLM in Denver recently, and according to his own writings, he appears to be a left-wing Bernie Sanders supporter. Um, he has posted things, ran into a Trump supporter with a Trump button on their shirt. I told them that I like their racist button. They had nothing to say. I'm not voting for either of them. I'm voting for Sanders. Okay, so that's that's who he is. Uh, by the way, he's not a licensed security guard. He was contracted through Pinkerton by Nine News, but he was not licensed to be a security guard in Colorado. We don't know why Pinkerton. It's odd that Pinkerton would do that. But now he's been charged uh, and he is in the Denver jail system. He was booked again on first degree murder. He owns a farm and is affiliated with some sort of music business. We're not really sure. Uh, and they, again, like I said, identified him from his tattoo. Now, here's some interesting things. He has liked and shared content uh, with Bernie Sanders and the Young Turks host, Sank uh, Uyghur. Sank is uh, a guy from Young Turks, started Young Turks. He is an angry, bitter, uh, and I think uh, dangerous kind of guy. But I don't want to silence uh, Sank. I'm smart enough not to watch it. I'm smart enough to see exactly what he is. Young Turks, all you have to do is look on Wikipedia, and of course, Wikipedia is always your best route to go for factual information, but just look at the history of Young Turks. What is the Young Turks? Once you find that, you'll know everything you need to know about Sank. So this guy was a big fan of Sank, uh, and he's also um, uh, really not a fan of Donald Trump. Uh, or anybody on the right. Hmm. Okay. Now, he's also something else. He is also a guy who has threatened my life. Uh, he wrote to me, you're telling people to risk their ass. This is when I said, I and others my age, if it means that we save the country... And we look at this as our service to our country to keep the doors open on our economy. There are there is me and I'm sure millions of others my age. This was at the beginning of covid that would go in and sacrifice to do what we have to do, just like those firefighters in the former Soviet Union that were forced Many of them did it voluntarily because they knew what it meant. Save the nation. Save people's lives. Uh, I don't know about you, but if we could have kept the doors open on everything, it would have been good. You know why? Because more people wouldn't die from cancer because they didn't get treated. More people uh, wouldn't die from depression because they couldn't go out. The economy wouldn't be where it is today. So I said that at the beginning, and he didn't like it. And he wrote to me, you're, t you're telling people to risk their ask. 
why don't you uh, why don't we see you risking yours why don't you do a live show and a meet and greet my security detail thought that was a threat and we take all threats seriously so this is not a right-wing guy. The reason why I mentioned that is because uh, Whitmer and others, and I will show it to you, are saying that all the violence is going to be caused by the, the right wing. In fact, they're doing new polls now that show that Republicans are much more apt to run to violence than Democrats are. Really? Is that true? Because I know all the Democrats expected the Tea Party to be violent, uh, but we never were. Never were. By the way, history always shows you it's the left. And I'm not talking about Democrats per se. If you're a Democrat and you're you're a regular Democrat, you're not into violence. If you're a Democrat, but you're actually a leftist, you are part of that violent crowd. You may not be violent, but you are part of a crowd that historically is violent. Now, Whitmer said on Thursday, hatred, bigotry, and violence have no place in the great state of Michigan. I agree. I mean it. Just moments later, President Trump's campaign advisor, Jason Miller, appeared on national television accusing me of fostering hatred. Well, I'm not going to waste my time arguing with the president, but I will hold him accountable. Because when our leaders speak, their words carry weight. Yes, they do. Now, the left and the Democrats, the leadership, have dismissed Black Lives Matter and everything that they say they are for. Black Lives Matter is for the destruction of the nuclear Western family. Not my words, their words. If anyone tries to destroy the family unit, I'm sorry, but that is by definition evil. It is evil. No questions asked. It is evil. They also believe that violence is necessary sometimes. Well, I guess if you vote for Joe Biden, all of this will end. Unless you listen to the co-founder of Black Lives Matter, the chapter in Los Angeles last week that said she would not support Joe Biden because he is part of the violent white supremacist system. This is Dr. Melina Abdullah. She made the comments to ABC News. People are feeling dismayed that choices are between, you know, a violent white supremacist and another person that represents that same system. Well, uh, I will tell you, um, if you think that it's going to be over if you elect Joe Biden, it's only going to get worse. By the way, I believe and I have nothing to prove this. This is my gut. But do you remember Nancy Pelosi started talking about the uh, amendment in the Constitution and, and passing, a, uh, passing a new r- law in Congress to make sure that you can get that dangerous president uh, out of office uh, much easier than just having to go through all of the hoops in the Constitution? Yeah, if he's deemed unfit, Congress wants to make it easier to get rid of him. That's not for Donald Trump. I truly believe that's for Joe Biden. If you think Joe Biden's going to be the president for long, I think you're sadly, sadly mistaken. So you have BLM uh, threatening uh, and saying that Joe Biden is part of the same racist system. Wait until you hear our expose on Joe Biden coming up in about 45 minutes. Some breaking news that is massive. Uh, that uh, you will only hear here. We will break that coming up in about 45 minutes. Now, if Governor Whitmer and others are going to hold people responsible because words have power, then what do we do with Keith Oberman? He lashed out at Trump supporters on Friday night, calling for the prosecution and convicted and conviction of all those connected with the president. Oberman called Trump supporters maggots. I want you to listen to what he said. Trump can be and must be expunged. Expunged. The hate he has triggered, the Pandora's box he has opened, they will not be so easily destroyed. So let us brace ourselves. The task is twofold. 
The terrorist Trump must be defeated, terrorist. must be destroyed, destroyed, must be devoured at the ballot box. Mm -hmm. And then he and his enablers and his supporters and his collaborators and the Mike Lees and the William Barrs and Holy the Sean cow. Hannity's and the Mike Pence's and the Rudy Giuliani's and the Kyle Rittenhouse's and the Amy Coney Barrett's must be prosecuted and convicted and removed from our society while we try to rebuild it and to rebuild the world Trump has nearly destroyed by turning it over to a virus. Remember it, even as we dream of a return oh to reality and safety and the country for which our forefathers died, that the fight is not just to win an election, but to win it by enough to chase, at least for a moment, Trump and the maggots off the stage and then try to clean up what they left. Remember it, even though to remember it, means remembering that the fight does not end November 3rd, but in many ways will only begin that day. Do you understand what he just said? This could have been something that came directly from the office of Goebbels. He is talking about the supporters and collaborators. Collaborators. Mike Lee? William Barr? The Sean Hannity's? That would include me. The Mike Pence's, that includes people who are high up in the GOP. And the Rudy Giuliani's and Kyle Rittenhouse's and the Amy Coney Barrett's must be prosecuted for what? For having a different opinion? And convicted for what and by whom? And removed from our society. If you think that the things that I have been talking about are hyperbole, you are sadly mistaken. I never, ever, ever thought I would quote uh, Lindsey Graham. But Lindsey Graham was right at the end of the last Supreme Court nominee and their hearing. Dear God, you people want power so badly, and I pray to God you never get it. The people on the left, and we must share that video. By the way, it's still up. We must share that video with our neighbors and friends. I've asked you to reach out between now and the election. Just find one person. If everyone in this audience just found one person, it would mean a landslide in the election. You are listening to this program for a reason. You must share that with your friends and, and tell them, because what they'll say, it's Keith Oberman, no one watches. Really? It's Keith Oberman. Because we can pr produce for you many people saying the same things and their leadership of BLM and Antifa. Antifa is an idea just like the idea that our founders had in 1776, or just like the idea that Robespierre had in the French Revolution, or just like the idea the Nazis had. Remember, we fought the Nazis, but we worried about how to fight the idea of Nazism. What did we do? We killed the Nazis while telling non-Nazi Germans, we are not your enemies. We are going after this idea and ideology and all those who preach it and put it into action because it is a deadly system. Now that was war. But do not dismiss people's words. When somebody says they're going to round you up or put you against the wall, as last week or the week before, the former co the uh, co-founder of Twitter, he tweeted, capitalists will be the first with their back against the wall to be shot. Take them seriously and do not get involved in violence.